Likewise, the horizontal sealing arms contain heat strips to melt each bag so the end product can be dropped down the chute to enter bags. A strip in the middle contains a blade that cuts the material each time. One advantage to choosing Mitsubishi's solution for vertical form fill and seal machines is that the programming information for the entire system comes included with the package. The program for monitoring and controlling the temperature is no exception here. It comes included in a POU for easy implementation within the system. Once the operator establishes an operation speed in pieces per hour, a timer provides control to the servo motors that index the material downward. Two rubber grip roller axes that are positioned snugly against the bag material on the product chute cylinder are commanded to rotate intermittently in opposite directions to pull the material. Here, HFKP servo motors are used. As part of the standalone motion controller's programming environment, virtual servo motor movement can be commanded through an electronic line shaft in order to ensure that each actual servo motor's movement begins at the same time. This control takes place through the Q170MCPU's motion control SFC program. The virtual servo motor moves for one rotation, which is equivalent to the travel distance that is programmed by the operator based on the bag length. Once this index movement is complete, the motion control program then calls the sealing SFC program. Sealing takes place with absolute servo moves to seal the bottom of a bag while simultaneously sealing the top of the bag that's already been filled. A blade moves to cut the material in order to release each finished bag from the tube. The bag then falls onto the exit belt to be carried away for boxing. Within the standalone motion controller, the servo axes are configured using the servo data. This area is accessed from MTWorks2 and allows the operator to configure how many inches the machine will move for every revolution of the servo motor. Axes 1 and 2 represent the vertical index rollers. Axis 3 represents the sealer axis. The sealer axis is programmed as a real mode axis, which means that its movement does not depend on the virtual mode settings of the vertical axis servo motors. This is configured within the option section of MTWorks2 and provides independent control of the sealing arms. An HMI operator interface connected to the Q170 MCPU motion controller provides easy control of the vertical form fill and seal application. A GT16 series terminal is used in this application with screens for operating the machine, setting parameters, and for monitoring the performance. The main screen allows the operator to start and stop the machine, adjust the vertical roller axes, and to adjust the speed of the conveyor. The settings screen provides an interface to change how many pieces per hour will be manufactured. This speed setting depends on the settings below it for the bag length. Additional settings include the sealing stroke setting and heating temperatures. Lastly, a monitor screen provides the current position of each servo axis along with the speed of the conveyor, the product count, and the current temperature of the thermal heat sealers. As mentioned briefly before, a vertical form fill and seal machine can be configured with additional sensors and safety equipment to provide additional control. A low roll detection sensor from Balif can detect when the material is running out, and a product present sensor can help to ensure an accurate product count for the machine. Additionally, a mark registration sensor can be used to adjust index moves on the fly in order to prevent the machine from cutting in the wrong positions. With a sick proximity sensor in front of the sealing arm, an operator is protected from getting something stuck in the machine. As soon as he approaches the sensor, the machine turns off. As with any other application, the product solution provided in this webinar cannot be applied for every machine type and by no means provides the best solution. A range of other components can be configured or added to provide additional control. 
Instead of using the standalone motion controller, additional options include an IQ platform motion controller, such as the Q172D CPU 8-axis motion controller, which provides equivalent control of more axes. Positioning modules such as the QD75MH4, LD77MH4, or FX3U20SSCH can be used. These provide 4-axis or 2-axis control. For 2-axis control, it may be possible to mechanically link both of the vertical index rollers, for example. Now, instead of using direct control from the HMI to the VFD to control the conveyor, a CC-Link module can be added to an extension rack to communicate with the drive over a network. A range of servo motors with different sizes and inertia ratings are available for selection. As an alternative to using a temperature controller, an analog controller could be used to set upper and lower limit temperature settings to turn on-off the heater unit when needed. This would provide less accurate temperature control, but may be a nice option for some customers. For further information on the Mitsubishi Electric Solution for vertical form fill and seal machines, material can be found in five separate components. A double page quick reference guide, a detailed application note, complete programming files, images and movies, and this presentation. All of this material is available on the MEAU website at www.meau.com. Just click on the Industry Solutions link to find your way to the material. And that brings me to the end of this Application Solutions webinar. I would like to thank you for taking the time to listen to this presentation.